I talk about taking action all the time. This is something that I mention a lot in a lot of my videos. But you can overdo it. You know, you can take action when sometimes action isn't necessary. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about how you need to watch yourself, my friends. I think that younger people have a much harder time with this. They say that with age comes wisdom, but it's not necessarily true. I know plenty of older people who haven't figured this out yet. And I would be lying if I told you that I have it figured out because I don't, but I'm aware of it. And it's something that I actively work on, on a daily basis. So it comes down to this, and this is something that comes from the Stoics, the philosophers. The Stoics would always say that you could focus on, or you should focus on, what you can control. And those are basically your thoughts and your actions. Those are things that you can control, particularly your actions, because action is the one thing that causes change, right? You can, you can think all day long, but when you take an action, that leads to results, positive or negative. So here's an example. Here's a very, very simple example. Let's say you're driving to school or you know, you're driving to work and someone cuts you off. How you react is going to impact the rest of your day, right? Don't, don't road rage. Or let's say you're in a grocery store and someone, I mean, you're in line and they just get in front of you. How you respond is important, right? Sometimes no response is the best response. I always think here's, here's a really easy exercise that can help you control your actions, control your temper, keep you out of trouble. Sometimes there's a wrong that's done upon you. Perhaps someone mistreats you in some way or someone says something. And the natural instinct is to reply and respond. And the reason is when someone does wrong to you, you feel good by responding. You feel, you feel like you've righted the wrong. This is very, very common among, especially younger people like, Oh, that person sucks. You know, they did this and that. So I'm going to, no, 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 no. Take a step back. Right. Take a deep breath. Ask yourself this. Will it help you in five years? Right. Will it help you in five years? And the reality is, you know, you're, you're going to have this happen in life because people are mean. Sometimes they, they, they don't think about others. And everyone's going through something, right? A lot of times people act the way they act because they're angry, because they're jaded, because they don't understand. And it's not good. You know, there, there's no excuse sometimes for the actions of others. But it's not up to you to correct it. It's up to you to control your actions and make the best possible choices you can make so that your life continues. Again, is it going to help you in five years? Is it going to help you in five years? I had a friend, oh, I still have her, she's nice. <laughs> she, she's, she's living. <laughs> and we were talking just the other day about this. She's, she's in a PhD program for mathematics. And someone said something really mean to her. They made a really cutting comment. And her first instinct was to respond. She responded, but she didn't say what she really wanted to say. And the reason she didn't say what she really wanted to say is because she was able to control her actions. And I was telling her, you know, that's the secret. Ask yourself, is this going to help you in five years? 
And you can apply this to anything in life. And sometimes it'll make you feel like a pushover. You know, if, if someone wrongs you in some way, it could be a friend, it could be a random person. You know, you, you wanna you wanna fight back. You wanna you wanna give them a piece of your mind. You wanna let them know, hey, you can't do that to me. I'm a, I'm a tough guy, or hey, get out of my way. Is it gonna help you in five years? Probably not. And that's the lesson that you should take away from this video. And this is especially important for younger people. Younger people are typically more reactive. And, and the older you get, the, the less reactive you get. And the more you start to think about how you react to different situations. So you're able to react accordingly. So think about your reactions before you speak. Think about your reactions when someone wrongs you at the grocery store, at the gym, if someone jumps on the machine before you, or someone takes your parking spot, you know, or someone gives you the finger when you're driving. React accordingly and many times, no reaction is better. And, and this is a tough one. This is a tough one for people. You know, I, I've known a lot of people, I've struggled with this. I know people who've struggled with this. So watch yourself, don't ruin it. Right? Don't, don't ruin your life. Don't make choices that are going to make your life worse. Because remember, my friends, action... Oh, there's a pretty bird here. Action is the one thing that you can control. Your actions. Your actions. Just like the Stoics, right? Focus on what you can control. And I think that's, that's the lesson. I don't know. I just wanted to make this video because t t recently I had an issue with... Well, internet, that's a long story, but I wasn't able to get an improvement. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's not that interesting. But yeah, I don't know. And again, it's something that a lot of people struggle with at, at every age, at every age. And some people are better at it. I've known people, I know a guy, he's very steady. He's a very steady guy. When I, when I think about him, I think steady. This guy can keep his cool under any situation. Not because he's, he's always a tough guy. He's a strong, that guy's strong. He's like 10 times stronger than I am. He's tough, but he keeps his cool. He doesn't overreact and it's helped him. It's helped him. So next time you're in a situation where you know, you're thinking of overreacting or someone's wronged you and you just want to like say something or do something about it, I know it feels good. I, but a lot of times after that, initial, after that initial response that you do, it's, it's just not gonna feel as good. It's, it's just gonna cause problems, right? So take a step back, ask yourself, is this going to help me in five years? and then respond accordingly. And this is just mainly a message for all of those out there who are watching who, who struggle with this. I know especially, like I said, older people too, but younger people especially. Again, the older you get, the steadier you get in your responses. Stay strong, my friends.